Hello, everyone. This is Eric from Etiquette, and today we're going to look at some English grammar. We're going to look at have and has. I have or I've got. You can use either one. I have, I've got. Or if it's singular, then you can say he has or he's got. So if it's I or plural, I, you, we, they, we say I have, um, they have, we have, you have, or you can say you've got, they've got. If it's singular, you're going to say she has, he has, the boy has, the dog has, or you can say she's got, he's got, the dog's got. So you can say have or has, I've got, he has, he's got, I have, we have, you have, or I have got, I've got, we've got, you've got, they've got. So you can use the contraction to make it sound more natural. For example, I've got blue eyes, or you can say, I have blue eyes. Tim has got two sisters, or Tim has two sisters. Our car has got four doors. Diane isn't feeling very well. She's got a headache. She's got, she has got. They like animals. They've got a horse, three dogs, and six cats. And then if you create the negatives, I have not got, or you can say, I haven't got, you haven't got. And if it's singular, he hasn't got. Have I got, have I got your phone? Have I got money in my bank account? Has she got, has she got something? Yes, I have, no, I haven't. Yes, we have, no, we haven't. Yes, he has, no, she hasn't. I've got a motorbike, but I haven't got a car. Mr. and Mrs. Harris haven't got any children. It's a nice house, but it hasn't got a garden. Have you got a camera? No, I haven't. What have you got in your bag? Nothing. It's empty. Has Anne got a car? Yes, she has. What kind of car has she got? Uh, another way you can say it is what kind of car does she have? That's a different way to say it. I don't have. Do you have? In negatives and questions, you can also use do or does. They don't have any children. They haven't got any children. It's a nice house, but it doesn't have a garden. It hasn't got a garden. I feel like this is the more natural way to say it. Does Anne have a car? Has Anne got a car? How much money do you have? How much money have you got? I feel like, yeah, this is the more natural natural way to say it usually. Here we've got some exercises. Let's do them together. We have got, we've got. He has got, he's got. They have got, they've got. She has not got, she hasn't got. It has got, it has, it's got. I have not got, I haven't got. So if we make some questions, have you got an umbrella? Have you got a passport? Has your father got a car? Has Carol got many friends? Have you got any brothers or sisters? How much money have we got? What kind of car ha has Julia got? What has Tina got? What have you got? Look at the information and write sentences about Tina and yourself. So my brothers and sisters, Tina has got a camera. Or, or I haven't got a camera. I've got a camera. Tina hasn't got a bicycle. I also haven't got a bicycle. Tina has got long hair. I haven't got long hair. I don't have long hair. It just sounds so much more natural. Tina has got brothers and sisters. I have got brothers. Put in have got, I've got, or has got, or haven't got, hasn't got. Sarah hasn't got a car. She goes everywhere by bicycle. They like animals. They've got three dogs and two cats. Charles isn't happy. He's got a lot of problems. They don't read much. They haven't got many books. What's wrong? I've got something in my eye. Where's my pen? I don't know. I haven't got it. Julia wants to go to the concert, but she hasn't got a ticket. Complete the sentences. Use have, has, or haven't, has, or hasn't got. I'm not feeling very well. I've got a headache. It's a nice house, but it hasn't got a garden. Most cars have got four wheels. Everybody likes Tom. He has got a lot of friends. I'm going to the dentist this morning. I've got a toothache. He can't open the door. He hasn't got a key. An insect has got six legs. We must hurry. We haven't got much time. 